Imperium fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here starting a new series for Alpha 10 that dropped today into the stable branch, so it's really exciting. I was testing the um, um, experimental branch, and it was actually a lot less buggy than when Alpha 9 released, believe it or not. It was a lot less buggy, in my opinion. Uh, they pumped out a bunch of bug updates, uh, bug fixes. They also ported it to the new Unity, um, which is supposed to make it a little bit more stable. They'll continue to make improvements. There's a whole bunch of new features, which we're going to get into as we play here. So let's get started right away. Uh, first of all, this seed looks fine. Nine. 3397. Let's do a new game. We'll just call this, um, I don't know, uh, Temp 1? Temp 1! <laughs> no, let's call it Temp 10. Temp, 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 I don't know, Alpha 10. There we go. Temp Alpha 10. Temp Alpha 10? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, there, medium. I want to modify this a little bit. So, f player, medium, food, all that, medium, who cares about that. I want to crank this up. We want to get some resources right off the bat. Auto miner, true, fine. Uh, we also want to do the weight volume, because I've really, really enjoyed that. Uh, also, I know you guys are like, what? How can you? Yeah, it makes you craft your vehicles a certain way. I kind of like it. Uh, let's see. Let's crank this up. Fast and fast. There we go. So, I don't care. We can spawn it on the ground. I don't really care at this point. But, the mass volume I really like. That's fun. We're going to make the enemies hard, drone presence high, and drone base attack high. So, that is the difficulty settings for enemies are basically cranked right up. Okay. Let's do that. So it's basically fast crafting, hard critters, uh, normal normal world conditions. Let's go. And we're going to start on uh, Srinabash. Srinabash. Uh, we're going to do a medium. Yeah, medium. I don't want to do the large one. So there we go. These are my seed. Those were my settings. And let's start. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, I know everyone's like, why didn't you crank all the settings on max hard? We've seen you do Iron Man stuff. It's like, you know what? This is more a playthrough for the, the uh, I will be doing a few starts through my Alpha 10 playthrough. I'm going to be starting off on the temp right now just for an easy quick start. Basically, I want to get up to the point where we get uh, base attacks, uh, and and I get I lose my base type thing, and then we'll 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 call it a success. <laughs> okay, so let's find somewhere to crash, and can we see anything behind. Oh, there is something behind us. I'm trying to look for something big. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's guide, there's some, looks like wreckage over there, and over that way, it looks like there's some more, lots of flowers and stuff around, oop, critters, uh, they're friendly critters, well, oh, is that spider nest, did it say? Come on, before I die, um, Okay, well let's let's do it. I mean, we'll do the starting tutorial. Ugh, fine. No, actually, it's actually really good. The starting tutorial, believe it or not, gives you a whole bunch of experience and action points, which you can spend. So, which are really critical at the low level. So right now, it wants us to open the PDA, which is uh, F one. 
So we're going to hit the F1 and we can find all the necessary information in here. So it wants us to, okay, it's basically explaining that we crash landed because of a malfunction and we abandoned it and we have our escape pod. We're okay, but we are low health, low food. And the ERP has been activated. ERP. Uh, yeah, we're following it. So let's do it. What's the next thing we got to do? We. I'm scared. Okay. Let's let's get out of this view. You know what? I'm gonna go into third person view because personally, you can see a little further. See that? You can see up a little higher. And. You can actually make out what stuff is a little bit easier. See that? Some of the stuff in the distance was easier to make out what it was. Okay, so we've got to open the inventory by hitting tab. Okay. Uh, notice condition at the bottom left corner. You need to eat and heal. Food depletes as you take actions and explore the area. Check your status regularly. So, it wants us to eat that. I think, right? Yeah, and use a health pack. Okay, so we'll go back in here and use one of our health packs. Fine, fine. You can see our health raising up there. Very good. Very good. Um, ooh, ooh, he's a scary looking dude. Uh, he's not rushing towards me, so I'm thinking that he is passive. Once it's a selector survival tool. So let's go back into here and we are going to shift right click on the survival tool. Or sorry, uh, shift left click, I should say, not right click. Shift left click. And that puts us down into our first bar available. Our first uh, uh, slot available on our toolbar. Okay. Mine and pick up. Ah! Whew. Can I get this rock, buddy? Ooh, don't, don't. Ooh, he's got some bad breath. I can smell it from here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to equip it. Oh, he turned right towards me when I equipped it. Why did he do that? Why did he? He's, he's like heading. Is, is he? It's, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, let's, let's run. Let's run. Run away, run away. Or jump away like a little jackrabbit. More like jackass, but okay. Are you coming? No, good. So, uh, mine and pick up rocks. So, we now that we have it equipped and selected, we can right click on it and select the different modes. We have defense mode, which can be used for short range defense, can also harvest wood. Okay, and then we have resource drill, which removes terrain and extracts ores from underground resource deposits, as well as from surface rocks. Does not pick up ores automatically. Okay, and then we have salvage. Salvaging own and public structures will always return components, so it won't return blocks. Okay, so you're going to lose some off the salvage, obviously. Well, let's go into not defense mode. We go into resource drill mode and get hung up there for a second as the AI catches up and we have this funky little target tool that now comes with the and kind of disappeared. Okay, so we still have our cursor. So let's use our cursor. And okay, it slowly bashes away at the rock until it Breaks it up. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? Like, why, why are you following me? Ugh. It's making me nervous. I didn't get enough rocks. So I can also pick up regular rocks. There we go. That completed that quest. And it looks like there's some more resource rock here. So this is some silicone. So as we wait for it to, oh, we got a harvest. And then craft some juice or an energy bar. Okay, so that's fine. We're going to find something to... Oh, is that some uh, food over there? Yeah, there's some protein over here. Now, I'm, you notice that I'm not sprinting and running everywhere. Because if you do, 
your stamina tanks, which then depletes your food really fast. And since we don't have any food, that could be a bad thing. Okay, so we just rose a level. And now we're supposed to craft an energy bar juice. So let's go into our survival constructor. So I tabbed in to my um, character sheet, I guess you could call it. And then the survival constructors on this tab here, and you can craft stuff in here. It has to be in your main inventory. I believe it can also use it from your tabbed inventory. I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, what we can craft right now is a survival tool, a bandage, and an energy bar. It wanted us to do a bar or juice, so we'll do the bar. And this guy, this guy, like what, what? God. Okay, let's head over this way. I don't know, They're, he's creeping me out. Gotta name him something. Eddie. I, I don't know why I named him Eddie. No, no, nothing, nothing against people named Eddie. Just you know, kind of reminded me a little bit of the dude from uh, Iron Maiden, you know. <laughs> Might be da dating myself. Okay. So, map. It wants us to map now. So we're going to hit M for map. Ooh, I saw a spider's nest over there right there. Small wreckage. Oh, yeah. So there we go. It wants us to go here to the crash cockpit. Okay. Well, we can do that. More spider's nest. Spider's nest there. Oh, we're between two. Oh, whoa. We're really close. Holy, that's close. Whoa. What? Yeah, that's close. Okay, well, we're going to avoid that. So go to the source signal. Let's do that. Just going to pick a couple more things on the way. So the fiber is really good. We need that to make, uh, not plastic, they call it the, um, I remember what it's called now. No, I'll have to look up to see what it's called again. The, the, the not graphite. <laughs> I don't know, you mix it with stone and it gives you, it gives you a very, um, carbonate. It's carbonate subs. Ooh, there's, see, look at all those spiders over there. Look at that. Spiders, spiders. Okay, we're not going to go over there. We're heading this way. Oh, did, are they coming over anyway? I don't like the sound of that. Pick this. Yeah, I'm not going to get those berries. Forget it. Uh, we'll leave this rock alone. It looks a little too large to sit here and slowly chip away at. So, oh, we've got some crickets down there. So the crickets, you got to be careful. They don't come after you unless you get too close. If they get, if you get too close, they will come after you. But they don't come after you from a a long distance they're not they don't hunt you down like a normally aggressive predator does but they will attack you if you get too close to them but they don't chase you so there's that ah, get out of my way oh we just discovered some copper good good And that was all very exciting, wasn't it? Um, yeah, the carbonate substrate is what you need to make a whole bunch of stuff in the game. Uh, like you can make carbon substrate building blocks for SVs, HVs, buildings, and CVs. You can also, yeah, I know I'm going over this direction just because I want to pick stuff. You can also make um, components from the carbon carbonate substrate. Carb, carbonate substrate? No, I, I'll have to wait until we get the, uh, unlock the um, mobile constructor. 
or portable portable constructor sorry they keep changing the names on the constructors like seriously like all the freaking time so now i'm you know is is it the mobile constructor is it the pull up portable constructor or is it the small constructor oh my goodness okay just going to grab some of the stuff on the way cuz we will need it but you can see the there's lots of um Lots of deposits, or at least a deposit of everything, I think. Right? Copper and iron so far. Let's check on the map. Copper and iron. Okay, let's just keep going to the cockpit. Oh, 84 units, so we're not too full. We haven't got any iron yet. Oh, man. I should be going and collecting iron. Okay, so we'll... Try and find some iron on the way. We might have to go dig it up. And there is an iron deposit there. And silicone. Okay, good. That's the magical three. We can make fuel from biofuel. Well, we can make biofuel, which counts as fuel, <laughs> um, out of plant fiber so we can we can either pick plant fiber or make it from logs which we harvest from trees so yeah lots of trees around in other words we're not going to have an issue with fuel it's not it's not a big issue in the game i find because you usually do find promethium eventually so yeah I like the progression. Okay, so this is cool looking. This is the crashed cockpit. The free base, in a sense, that they give you. This is quite the interesting one to navigate through. It's all broken up and crap. And you kind of got to watch where you're walking, because you can actually fall off and uh, it's uneven floor okay come on let me over did did i do it yeah okay and then no we want this gotta be careful not to not to jump off no 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 ah oh, come on <laughs> Ooh, i don't like this poi <laughs> without a jet pack it sucks okay okay so let's try this again um, okay, we just want to jump up onto it. Jump up onto it. No, 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 no. Ah, come on. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's another way to get in either. I don't think the other way you can actually get in. Maybe. Oh, wait, maybe you can walk up the ramp. Okay, well, let's see if you jump up. It, like, because of the stairs there, right? So, how do I like... Mm, oh, I did it. Okay, yay. Oh, really? So, we could have just went like this? Okay, uh, I meant to do that. Yeah. So, there it is. Loot items from the personal cargo box. You notice that I can't turn the light on. Player light not available with interior suit. Woohoo! No light. Well, we'll have to live with that. For now, we're going to grab our iron. This, that, that, and... Ooh. So, look at that. It can hold 8,000 now. That's interesting. We're going to leave that there because that's 350 storage units. We can't really carry it. We'd be full. No, we can't carry it would be over full. So we're going to leave the sprouts here. We're going to leave the base starter here. Uh, for now, what we can do, we now have iron, silicone, and copper. I believe at this point, what's it going to make us do? It's going to make us do something, right? So let's just walk down here and check this out. So we want to unlock the portable constructor, craft it, and place it. Okay. 
So we're going to go into our tech tree. It is under miscellaneous. And then we unlock it at level two. I'm level three, so no problem. We currently have 25 unlock points. So we're going to unlock that for five points. As you can see, some items are already unlocked. When you achieve the next level, you can unlock more and craft advanced items. Okay, so we're just going to hold off on you spending those points for now. Um, it wants us to craft it, so we're going to go into our survival constructor and, oh, look at this, let's eat that. And you can see this, we can actually craft a couple more things now that we have more stuff in our inventory and we unlock the portable constructor we can craft that let's go ahead and do that so as that crafts i think i'll queue up some food i don't know how much we can make from that i think like four or something but that's okay it's more food so as that cooks what else can we do what else can we do? We can go and gather some more wood, right? So let's do that. Go into defense mode and got to be really careful of like insects that are going to try and kill us here. Okay. We'll grab some wood. Eventually. Come on. Oh, crap! <laughs> I saw him! You bugger. Leave me alone! Die! Run away! Get stuck! Frick off! Oh, really? Ha ha. <sighs> Frickin. All I'm trying to do is get some wood. You ingrate. Come on. Give me your meat. Yeah, I'll eat the spider meat. I'll eat him now. Okay. Should we go back to here and see if we attract more spiders? <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, what? Oh, we got three wood for it. Yay! We only need to zap it one more time. Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, place constructor. So, we go into our survival constructor. We grab it from the output. Uh, I'm going to leave the energy bars in here so that they don't spoil, because in experimental, they wouldn't spoil if you left them in your output. So, yeah, you know, I'll just leave them there. So we got to put it into our taskbar. So let's load that into our taskbar and place this down. Let's place it somewhere somewhat easy to get to, right? Ooh, we might be able to get... Can we... Oh, no, don't fall down there. Ah, oh, you idiot. Actually, that's not that bad, though, is it? Hmm. Let's do that. Yay! Check the PDA tutorial tab for more survival tutorials. Okay, we will do that. And, uh, well, okay, let's go. And if you notice... We have 30, because it gave us 10. That's that's huge. Okay. Uh, wants us to craft a motorbike. Wow, that sounds awesome. Let's do that. And I think we should have enough to do that. So we're going to put all of our stuff into here. You know what? I'm just going to put all the craftable stuff in there for now. I'll hold that. And I just want to... I don't remember starting with an ore scanner. That okay? Well, that was new. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that completely threw me off. Let's eat our grilled steak. We're down a little bit on health, and I think we get yeah a little bit off from that. So yeah. 
we'll grab that and then what we want to do is we'll just eat that right away and then from here we should be able to craft our motorcycle yes so let's do that and it'll automatically queue up what it needs and craft that all the sub components and craft those up first uh, a few alphas ago, this used to be, you had to manually do this all. So you had to count how much you needed of everything and, and meticulously make that specific amount or else you'd overcraft and then you'd have to carry around the crap with you. And yeah, <laughs> so this is much easier. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. And it's going to start getting dark soon, so... I think what we'll do is we'll probably call in an episode when, uh, come on, really? Did it, what, what did it do? Oh, there it goes, it did something. It's a crafting, there we go. Grab that, and don't know what the next thing is. What's the next thing? Craft a weapon and detector. Ooh, so that means we've got to unlock a weapon. Well, that's okay. We've got lots of points. We're only third level, mind you, so we can only unlock level three stuff. Well, that gives a shotgun. I could unlock assault rifle right now, but I don't have any means to make the ammunition for it or the gun itself, so... I'm just going to hold off for now. That should be fine. That should be fine. Okay. So. Let's make that. We're going to make a shotgun. We're going to make some ammo for it. Each one is 30. Okay. And a detector. Actually, here, let's do that. Get the ammo last so that it uh, completes the quest quicker. So that it progresses that along. And is there anything in here? Nope. So you can see I can actually go into the control bot panel on this POI because it actually has a player core in it. And I can actually convert this to a private uh, POI if I want. If I do, it could be subject to a base attack. So right now, there's no probability. If I flip that to private, they might attack. So right now, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to do it yet. Okay. So it built our two things. What we can do is we can put all this stuff in our taskbar. Um... Grab this, grab the gun, grab that, grab some shotgun shells. Actually, I'm going to reorganize my pack of here. Go to that. We're going to reload. There we go. We got a shoddy. Yeah. Okay, where are you now, you freaking spiders? Huh? 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 Yeah, I thought so. They're all scared of me now. Okay. Um, okay, well. Grab this last one. What does it want us to do now? Ooh, explore the alien signal. Yeah, afraid not. Not at uh, almost midnight. So what we're going to do now is, I don't think I can get up here, can I? No. That's fine. That's fine. What I can do is we're going to go up here, up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. And I'm not going to bother going up there. There's nothing up there worth going up there for. But so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for night. I'm going to sleep. Although, you know what we should do? That's stupid. Let's make use of the time. 
let's make use of the time and craft up some fuel, right? Craft up some stuff. Let's grab what we can. Defense mode. Come on. Thought I heard a spider. Bloody. Th Seems like cutting down trees attracts them. I don't know. Maybe it was just a a random occurrence to be there right when I'm, you know. I swear to God, this this game spawns stuff on your head. Okay. Okay. You be careful. Don't want to get too close to any of those big butt bugs with the spitty goobies. some silicone over there. I can go grab that. Now, an experimental, I didn't get any experience for digging a deposit. And I, I doubt I will. But you did get experience for picking up rocks. And I did. There, there we go, 50. Let's see what this one yields. Fifty. Okay, but it had quite a bit of stone. Yeah, that was a good stone score. Well, the sun is starting to go down. We'll we'll um, make our way slowly back over to the cockpit. Looks like some iron over there. Okay. Now, I don't need a lot of biofuel right now because I'm not making a drill. And I'm, I don't really know if I'm, I think I have to make a chainsaw for the tutorial. So that's fine. I'll have the biofuel for it. Uh, yeah. I can also use the crash cockpit storage locker with 8,000 storage units if I have a heavy stack of something. Okay, so it's getting dark. Let's head back in. And what we can do... No, don't fall all the... Oh, God. <laughs> ah, we can fall. That's what we can do. Let's go like that. We can go like that. And what we're going to do is we are going to turn everything we got into biofuel. Not everything. Make like... Let's do like 10, 20, 30. 30 for now is good enough. Okay. So now that it is dark out, let's get up here. Get up here. And we're going to go to bed and call it an episode. So thanks for joining us. Until next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.